you've coined this phrase, you know, don't buy shoes, buy buildings. Talk a bit about the next book that you're writing and, and kind of what the, the, the premise behind that is. Well, the, the chapter of my book that people really responded to the most, specifically women, was don't buy shoes, buy buildings. Because I think nobody tells you, uh, specifically as a woman, that you're buying all these shoes, I mean, just to be literal for a moment, and they're in your closet and they're not gonna help you when you're retiring. And I think the book, the, the title, Don't Buy Shoes by Buildings, is a metaphor for investing. The book is about investing to become self-made. Uh, and all the different opportunities that exist in this country to invest in, in this moment. It's so exciting in a digital age. And how do you just put a little money aside and have it grow exponentially? And the quicker you do it, the quicker, quicker it'll grow. Um, and in ways that we forgot, we forgot that there's so many franchises in America. You don't have to invent a business from scratch, invest in a franchise. Um, go to the little local business in your neighborhood that the old man is retiring from and his kids don't want to run it and buy a business with existing revenue. We forgot about that. We forgot that in a digital age, you can be an expert in something and blog about it and monetize your online voice or put your kids to do it. I feel like this is a family thing. Becoming self-made is a journey for your entire family and you need to model the behavior so your kids turn out right and they're not entitled kids that don't want to work and that are lazy and that don't don't become people that are grateful and that are empathetic and people that understand what it need, means to meet payroll or what it means to invest in something and lose money and get back on the horse and do it again. Those are all lessons in life crucial to all of us.